Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have got a very highly requested video and it is my skincare routine. So this is gonna be mainly my evening skincare routine, um, stuff that I do to take off my makeup and then cleanse my skin before bed um, and all the after little bits that I put on as well. Um, but I'm also gonna talk you through what I would do if it was daytime as well. If you are interested in knowing what I use on my skin and how I get it really nice and clean before bed, then stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, I like to use an oil to remove my makeup. So I have literally just filmed a video, so I've got full face of makeup on. That's gonna make it easier for you to see how it actually like lifts all the makeup off. So the one that I've been using recently, I've actually been using two, but I think I prefer this one, mainly because of the price, and I just think it feels a bit more hydrating. But this is the Simple Hydrating Cleansing Oil. Okay, so I just pour a little bit of this into my palm. So I just rub that in, try not to get it all over my trousers, <laughs> and then rub that into my makeup. It probably looks like I'm rubbing really rough. <laughs> but yeah, you wanna make sure that you're getting really in there, into that mascara. Over your lip. And you just wanna make sure that everything is kind of like covered and that all of the makeup is gonna be lifted off. Okay, so when you're looking crazy, you're gonna take a clean flannel. This is a white flannel, so it's about to be. And then you're just going to slowly wipe all that off. Make sure you're really getting into your lash line to get any lash glue or any mascara or liner. For any of my girls or boys that lay your edges, make sure that you Get in there as well, get right in your hairline. Because hairline spots are the worst. It's so painful. And the other side. What I like about using a flannel, this is an Elemis one, is that it actually feels like it's exfoliating as well because it's a little bit rough. Um, for me personally, scrubs are too harsh on my skin, so I prefer to use something like this. Okay, so that's all off and my skin's feeling semi-clean, but we do need to go in with another cleanse. So the next thing I'm gonna show you has been the absolute game changer for me when it comes to skin and how I take my makeup off. And it's this little buddy here. So this is the New Skin Lumi Spa Cleanser. You've probably all heard loads about it because everybody and their nan's been using it. Honestly, guys, this thing is unreal. So for ages, I was really skeptical about it because obviously you see everybody using it, promoting it. There's sellers all over Facebook. But my friend Sasha did a whole IGTV on her Instagram. I'll link it down below of how this has worked for her skin. So that kind of made me look into it a little bit more and I pondered on it for ages. And then finally, um, about six months ago now, I bit the bullet and just bought it. Now for me, I thought for ages that this kind of thing was for people that kind of really struggled with their skin. Um, I personally, when it comes to my skin, like as you can see, I get the odd, oh, that is actually really sore that one, but I get the odd breakout, but I don't get anything um, too bad for me. I think I've said it in a past video that it's just about maintaining um, the fairly clear skin rather than trying to get rid of any active breakouts. So for me, I was like, is it like really worth the money? So yes, yeah, so then I got it, started using it, and I can honestly say that this has like changed the game for me in terms of skin. Um, I don't get any, I used to get a lot of like congestion around my chin. Um, I don't get any of that anymore. It's actually mad as well. Like at, right now you would probably think that my skin's clean. It feels clean. Um, there's no like visible residue on it. After using this thing, there is always still a load of makeup left in it. So it's actually mad to think that like the amount of makeup that we have left in our pores that we think nothing of when we go to sleep, like Nah, it's nasty. So yeah, if you are somebody like me whose skin is like, for the most part, good, and you're umming and in over getting the Lumi Spa because you're not sure if it's gonna make a massive difference, um, I would 100% say, like, hand on heart, that this is an amazing product. Um, it works by, it has a little oscillating head, can you see? Um, and what that does, it just really, really kind of cleans your pores out. Um, it claims to tighten pores. Um, again, my pores aren't that big, so I can't really speak on that sense. But if you are someone that's got quite open pores and you're quite conscious about them, this might be an idea to try um, to see if it does shrink them at all. So how I use this, I do like to have my skin a little bit wet, so it is a little bit dry at the moment, just from 
using that flannel. So I just re-wet my skin a little bit. I like to wet the head of the Lumi just a little bit. If I do it too much, I find that I've got water running like all down my arms. And then I am gonna use the cleanser that comes with it. I went for the normal combo skin cleanser um, because that is what my skin is like. It's normal combination, but they do do different ones for sensitive, dry and oily. Oh, and blemish prone as well. I just like to pop a little bit of this in the middle just like that and then I start on my forehead and you just want to really really slowly like move it around if you move it too fast you feel it will stop so you just want to go nice and slowly and it will give a little a little vibrate when it tells you to move on to the next part of your face I go around the sides of my nose a little bit here as well I found that this has made a massive difference in terms of blackheads. Um, I don't really get them anymore around my nose. And then the last bit on my chin, and I like to go just underneath here because I do tend to get like little spots just under my jawline. I actually find this really relaxing as well. Okay, so that's just finished and look at all the dirt and makeup that was left in my skin. If you guys can see that. Uh, and the thought of like going to bed and not getting that out of your skin, like no wonder I was waking up with like spots on my cheeks. So yeah, Lumi Spa, unreal. I mean, I still get the occasional breakout like this. This is more like hormonal, but this has stopped all my congestion, um, any like blackheads that I used to get around my nose or around my cheeks here no longer exist. So yeah, Lumi Spa, 100% recommend. I will put a link in my bio um, where you can purchase it for 25% off through my link. That is an affiliate link, so if you don't want to use it, you don't want to use it. Um, but yeah, it's 25% off and it is quite a pricey device, so it is well worth um, buying with a discount. Okay, so then after that, I just get any um, residue of the cleanser off. So the next step for me is toning um, and I also pair this with exfoliation. So this is the Lacura, which is Aldi, own brand, Healthy Glow Glycolic Toner. And it's got 5% glycolic acid in it, aloe vera and ginseng as well. So this is an exact dupe for the Pixie Beauty Glow Tonic. Um, I have spoken about it in my videos before, but this is like an amazing, amazing product. And I'm not even joking you guys, like the price of it compared to the Pixie one is there's like a massive difference and it's exactly the same thing like Aldi have even had the nerve to copy the packaging so I just get a bit of that on a cotton pad I find it's really important for my skin to use an exfoliating toner um, like I said before I don't really get along with scrubs I feel like they're a bit too um, scrubby <laughs> they're a bit too harsh on my skin um, and it always ends with a breakout whereas using a glycolic toner like this exfoliates any dead skin cells but stops it from like scratching my skin and I take it into my hairline as well, just in case there's any like bronzer or anything left over that I've missed. So before I go on to the next step, I spray with Fix Plus. Um, you can do this with any hydrating spray. I learned this tip from reading Caroline Hiron's skincare book. Um, she recommends spritzing a hydrating spray between like each step, um, just to make sure that you've locked in any hydration. Um, and I've really been liking that. It makes your skin feel like really fresh. So you just wanna let that dry before you start putting any like creams or treatment on the skin. So the next step is eye cream. I've got two that I like to use, depending on if I feel like my eye, my under eye needs more hydration or if it's like pretty fine. My most used one, and I use this in the day as well, is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Um, this is a really like thick texture, very thick texture. Um, and it leaves your skin, it leaves your under eye like very, very dewy, looking very, very hydrated. I prefer this under makeup um, just because it is that little bit thicker. I find that it stops my concealer creasing as quickly. And then the other one that I have been liking the last couple months um, is this L'Occitane Serum. So it's a little, I really don't know what the little beads are in there. I'm guessing they're oil. It's an overnight reset eye serum. Um, and this is more of like a watery texture, like a serum. Um, so I find it does sink in a lot quicker. But I have been using this when my under eyes feel like pretty hydrated. I do get quite like sore under eyes and sometimes like my eye waters and I'm guilty of like wiping it a lot so it gets a bit sore around here. But when my eyes are not like that and they're completely fine, I've been using this one at night and this one in the day. 
for the purpose of this video because I'm doing it in the daytime I'm gonna pop a little bit of my Kiehl's creamy eye treatment on so let's pop a little bit under each eye sometimes I get carried away with eye cream and I put way too much on and then with my ring finger I just dab it in get all the way to the corner and round under my brow as well And can you see what I mean when I said it gives you like a real glow? It leaves your skin quite like shiny and glossy afterwards, which I love. Okay, so my next step is serum. So I have been loving for the past maybe like four months now, I've been using the Had Labo Tokyo um, Lotion Anti-Aging Super Hydrator. And um, this is packed full of hyaluronic acid, collagen and retinol as well. So they're three ingredients that are really like hot right now in terms of skincare. Yeah, this was like a really good price. I think it was like 17 pounds or something like that. So I use this under my makeup and at night as well. So I just pat that in. It's really, really nice under makeup because it's so light, um, but it's also nice at night because you can layer other products over the top and your skin won't feel greasy. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with another spray. And then let that dry again so whilst my face is drying i'm just going to talk you through the three products that i use at night um kind of like on a rotation or just um if i feel like my skin needs a little bit more hydration or it's been particularly oily throughout the week i will use these accordingly so the first one is the moisturizer that i actually use in the day um but it's it's very very thick and creamy so it's a very very good night cream as well and this is the L'Occitane immortal divine cream um if i just show you you see it's like a really nice thick cream adds a lot of hydration and it does kind of it sinks in but it also like stays on the skin like you can still feel it gives you a nice glow i love anything that's going to make my face look shiny and glowy with no makeup on so if you like that too these two paired together is match made in heaven the second product that i like to use at night is the face serum that goes with that little eye serum i showed you just a second ago um i think in terms of ingredients, I'm not 100% sure how different it is to the eye cream. It could be the same thing because I know brands do do that just in a smaller bottle. But yeah, this is the Reset Night Serum from L'Occitane. It's like a serum with little oil particles in it. So it's really, really thin on the skin. Um, it gives you a nice glow, but it sinks in straight away. Um, so you're not kind of lying on your pillow thinking, oh, all my skincare's falling off my face. And then the third product, this is more of a treatment. So. This is the Clarins Lotus Face Treatment Oil and it's got 100% pure plant extracts in it. This stuff is amazing, but I use this, as it says, it's a treatment. I use it if my skin um, has been feeling particularly dehydrated. And um, when I'm in dehydrated, I mean it's producing too much oil. So if throughout the week that I'm getting really, really greasy um, excessively, more than I usually would, I'll pop a little bit of this on overnight. So I'd still do all this that I've just done and then lock it all in with this over the top. I think a lot of people don't know that using an oil over the top of your like normal skincare that locks in all of the moisture that you've just popped on so if you are an oil user in conjunction with other skincare make sure you're putting it on last so it locks in all the hard work that you've just done but like i said as it is daytime i'm going to pop on my L'Occitane cream or creme whatever it's called and then just rub that in you don't need very much of this because it is so rich that spot is huge it's like a second head Jeez. so that's my moisturizer popped on and then i'm going to go on with one last layer of hydration and then the final step that i like to do is lip care so you cannot forget your lips especially in this nasty weather that we're having at the moment so this is the mac lip conditioner i just pop a little bit of that all over I love this stuff because you wake up in the morning and you can still feel it on your lips it hasn't just like disappeared so yeah that's it for today guys this is my skincare routine um like i said i'll drop a link in the bio um for the lumi spa if you want to get 25 percent off you can and yeah if you've got any other questions involving skincare then just leave them down below and i will answer them for you thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and i will see you next time bye guys